Welcome to the video. This is a quick tip for SketchUp. Now here is a model that I've just made that's very simple. What I'm actually doing is just going to show something I've been doing in SketchUp over the last day or two as I've been designing parts. And uh, this is a little view of uh, a piece that I've made that's actually designed to be a little wrench so when you're undoing the nuts that hold the props onto a motor you can use a little wrench to kind of keep it in position kind of a little baby version of those of you that have done work on cars of kind of like a simple oil filter wrench so this little part here is the one that I created but I chamfered all the edges to make it easier to work with now in other programs like 123d it's very easy you can select the outside of an edge and you can then tell the program that you want it chamfered. In this, it's a lot harder, but this is the little trick I've been using and I thought I'd share it. So what I want to do is provide a little beveled edge at the top and at the bottom, so when I print it, holding this in my hand, I'm not gonna have these sharp edges. It'll be a slightly nicer tool to use. So this is just a irregular shape that I've made. I made a cube and I've just cut two pieces out of it and deleted those pieces. So the way to do this easily is there's a couple of tools that you can use here. There's this thing over here, which is the kind of follow me tool, and you can actually create a bevel and then get it to push it round. But the easiest way I've found to do this is if we're gonna use this top surface. So first of all, we'll select the top surface that we want the bevel around the edge of. And then what we'll do is we'll actually decrease the size. So we'll, we'll bring it in, maybe I want the bevel to kind of be two millimeters wide. So actually that's not gonna work on this. We'll make this 1.5 millimeters in. There we go. Now, what you need to do is then just delete all the extra squirrely bits that you get around the outside. I'm gonna then push the outside of the shape down by 1.5 millimeters. And I'm just typing this in, there we go. And now I'm at a stage where I can make the bevel work. So if I just zoom in a little bit onto one of these corners, select the line tool, let me just make a triangle here. So that's just a cross section of the bevel that I want. Zoom out a little bit more. Now if I select the top face again, this time click the follower path with a selected face and then click on the little triangle, then there is my bevel. Now it isn't quite perfect, it's made a couple of little mistakes and it always tends to, so that one there isn't very good. So we can quickly fix that by drawing a couple of lines and deleting that piece and there you go. So that's an easy way to do it in SketchUp because it doesn't have that feature like you have in 123D. So hopefully for those of you that are designing bits for 3D models and parts, that will be a quick tip that will save you some time. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless 360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.